Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are trying a little experiment. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say right at the start of the video that I have not looked around to see if anybody else has tried doing this before. This is more than likely not an original idea, but it just kind of popped into my head the other day and I thought, I gotta try this and see if this actually works. Now, what the idea is, is I got thinking, I wonder if we could use a torque wrench to uh, consistently tension high tensile fence. So generally what, what I would try doing is we've got one of these little spring tension meters here. And what this does is it's got a couple little notches on the straight part here. So what you do is you just crank this little ratchet down until the end of your spring goes in between the notches and that tells you that it's, it's roughly tensioned. Uh, I think the notches actually have a specific uh, poundage that they uh, correspond to. I don't know what those are right offhand. But basically this just gives you a, a general idea of how tight your electric fence is. And then once you have one of them, you can kind of say, okay, this is, that feels about that tight. And then you go down to the next one and say, yep, those, those feel about the same. So this one's down here is tight in the right. And then you can just go all the way down through there kind of comparing from your one that you know is roughly tension to the, the, the right poundage. So I've actually gone ahead and tested it on here because I wasn't sure if this uh, had the right range of foot pounds on it. And I actually have it dialed all the way down. It's down to 10 foot pounds, which is the lowest this things go to, or uh, 13.6 Newton meters. Um, and that actually was just about right so that our spring is right in the middle of our two notches that we have on here. Now this is a really short line here. It's only like maybe 140 feet long. And one thing that I'm wondering is if we start getting to a longer run that's got some twists and turns and stuff in it, will it still uh, do what I want it to do and, and tension it uh, correctly? So. I haven't done this side yet. This one's, oh, maybe two or three times as long. And this one actually needs to be tightened up just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead, pop this in here, uh, ratchet this down, see, uh, see where it gets to once this clicks, that it's at 10 foot pounds, and uh, see, see if this is gonna continue to keep on working. So one thing that's a little bit tricky with this is that the way that the torque wrench works is that once it hits, the foot poundage or Newton meterage that uh, you want it to go to, it makes a little click noise. And that lets you know that you, you've hit the, the, uh, the weight, tension, torque, whatever that you're trying to get to. But of course, the ratchet on your fence here too, every time it goes past another tooth, it makes a click noise too. So you really gotta be paying attention to what your, uh, what your, your your torque wrench is doing here to make sure you don't miss when this is making the click noise instead of your, your actual fence. Oh, I think that was it right there. Yep, and I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's the, that's the wrench itself making the noise. And let's see where our marks are. And that has us within our range. It's maybe a third of the way, halfway in between the two marks. So that's, that's fine for what we're doing. All right, and that one's, that one's already clicking. This one maybe feels a little bit looser and then yep there we go and they all feel pretty pretty equal now of course they were already pretty well tensioned to start with but uh theoretically they all all should be within that range. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna head to the other side of the creek where we put in uh, some, some fence along the hay field where we kind of had some zigs and zags along the same run and we'll see if it still holds up on, uh, on that little stretch. All right, so if this one works, I think it's probably safe to say that this idea should work in most circumstances, I think. 
Uh, so this one, we've got a turn up there. We've got another turn down here. We've got another turn down here. Then down in that corner, it makes a 90 degree turn. There's double H brace down there. And then another little straight section going along the creek. So uh, I think that if anything's gonna mess up this theory, it would be something like this. Uh, but we'll, we'll find out here in just a second. So I'm going to say, I think this works. Now this, I mean, this isn't a super long stretch. I'll throw whatever the distance is up on, on screen somewhere here. Uh, so I'll still leave the possibility that if you had something that was really, really, really long that you might end up with it not working at that point. I don't know why, but I, I'm going to leave some room for air, but it seems to do what what you need it to do and it kind of takes the guesswork out of it too that you know if you know what your foot poundage is which at least for this wrench i'm not saying that wrench is right uh but at least for that one 10 foot pounds seems to kind of put it like right in the middle of the notches and 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 just feeling these they feel pretty pretty even so uh going forward i'm i may just use this method to uh tension tension all the strands up and then I don't really have to stop and you know check them to the uh the, the one that we got the actual gauge on to just kind of tension it up till the ratchet clicks and uh call it good to go so maybe this was helpful to some of you I have no idea some of you may just go ahead and comment and say Josh we already knew this this is just this is common knowledge you you really should have known this by this point but if it was helpful let me know drop a like on there uh this is going to be it for this video as always i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you next time